Hey everyone, Dave Gwynn in here, and in this short video, I just want to show you a really quick review of this uh, little piece of software I got my hands on a few days ago. The product owner reached out to me and asked if I could do a little review on it and uh, see if I like it. He actually gave it to me so that I could use it within my business because he knows I do a lot of Facebook marketing and I'm actually really pleased at what it does. And when I first went to their page to check out their, uh, you know, what it does and what the features are of this little program, um, at first I thought it was too unrealistic, you know, too good to be true sort of thing because it said that it will show you hidden dark posts. These are um, unpublished advertisements within Facebook that you shouldn't be able to see but to my amazement it works really well. Now what the program is, the little software, is just a plugin for your Chrome web browser and once you install it you'll see a little icon up here on the top right hand so let me just give you a quick demonstration of what this can do because if you're in the t-shirt selling market or it doesn't actually matter what you're selling on Facebook this thing is awesome it's kinda like a glorified little search engine sort of thing for finding Facebook ads that are converting really well now you gotta check this out let's go ahead and click the button and it brings up uh, the program is called Social Sleuth and what you want to do here is you have two options. You can enter in a website name and then a niche keyword. And so the best way to explain this is by showing it through the t-shirt niche. So let's just type in teespring.com and let's say I want to see all of the latest shirts that have just come up right this moment. Meaning what was the what are the shirts being advertised right now? So let's just type in a word like buy. And then we can click on down here. You see I have all these different um, different selections you can select from. So you can select from the re most recent live posts, all the posts, or just posts that are originating from publishers on pages. You can also do by date for this week, this month, last week, or last month. You can also search by uh, photos, videos, and the shares. Shares and posts in my opinion are probably the most important but let's just take a look at the live posts for everything from Teespring with the keyword buy. And so as you can see here it quickly brings up all of the latest advertisements. Now if you just see this this actual shirt was posted right now and what you're seeing here is someone actually shared this from a particular um, fan page. So this was a user that shared it that really likes it. Maybe they purchased that particular shirt. But now you can quickly just go through here and you can see, like, look at this. This is a, a, a gold mine, a huge gold mine. Now, I'm going to show you a trick in this video that's going to blow your mind. If you have my tea inspector, you're going to love what I'm going to show you in just a minute. But I just want to quickly show you, like, look at all these awesome shirt designs you can actually see the um, the actual engagement on these so these are just posted right now so the engagements are pretty low so you're not seeing any shares likes and things like that so let's try a different search here so let's bring it back up let's try teespring again and let's type in something different like the uh, oversaturated nurse <laughs> niche live post oops sorry I didn't want to do live posts Let's just take a look here first. But when you do live posts, you're not going to have much engagement because th like this was just posted two minutes ago. Uh, sorry, let's try that one more time here. I didn't want to use live posts. I wanted to use a time in the past. So let's go with that. Let's go post by date. So let's see this month. So now you can see this one had... Uh, you know, 21 shares, one comment, you know, 50, 58 comments, 234 shares. So pretty cool. So let me show you that little trick with T-Inspector. So all you have to do is I'm just going to hold down my uh, my page down key on my keyboard. And let's just reveal a bunch, a bunch of shirts here. So I'll just keep it kind of scrolling down to the bottom for a bit. So that's good enough. And then what I'll do is within this browser, I'll just uh, right click and I'll just... Uh, it doesn't have a right click. Usually there's a select all. Anyhow, I can go Control A on my keyboard just to select everything in the browser and right click and just copy. Now, if I bring up T Inspector, and what I want to do is just go on over to the search analyzer, click on custom, and click on the custom input. 
Let's clear that out and paste in that, everything we just copied from that page, and click Go. And magically, T-Inspector is grabbing all the links that it found on that page here in this search results. And now we can see the sales for each corresponding shirt that showed up in those search results. So as you can probably imagine, this is incredibly powerful because now you can pinpoint shirts or designs on Teespring that are basically getting sales right now. Now I, I searched for um, this month, so these are all the shirts that came out just recently this month, but if you want to see shirts that are sort of like really gaining some momentum immediately, you can just search the live posts, so you can search the uh, post within the last week, and you can really like dive in and see which shirts are really good here. So let's see, I've got 30 shirts. Let's just stop that there, and we can sort by here and click the preview button, and we can instantly preview those. And so in the preview window here, we can see all those shirts really quickly with the little um, images to the right, sorry, to the left. <laughs> and you can quickly go down here and you can see the, all the designs and then do some more analysis and possibly uh, you know model new designs based on what's going on here and so I found that extremely useful this software was just so cool and it, it, there's a lot of other little things here so let's take a look at a different idea it's like one thing I like doing in Teespring is looking at other Teespring sort of style website like Viral Style so you don't have to be limited to just Teespring. You can go viral style, and let's stick in something like one thing I was looking at recently was like the Dallas Cowboys. So if we put Cowboys in there and look at all the, let's look at all posts this time, and you could take a look at a little bit of a gold mine here. So you could see like uh, you know you see here the secret to a happy marriage is watching Dallas football together on Sundays. That's a pretty cool concept, right? quickly see these are all listed on viral style so this is not on Teespring so an idea that you could do is you could model your you know a shirt after this obviously don't copy it completely and then go ahead and sell it on Teespring so really cool little idea here let's try another search now if you don't want to use the website option you don't have to so you can do something like um, say like seven figure business or something like that not sure if that will show up let's try it by shares um, last year then you'll see like here you find all the engagement stuff and you know one thing I like doing is you go through and look at different advertisements in here and some of these are dark posts so it does bring up dark po unpublished posts that you normally couldn't search for so this is pretty cool but it's nice so you can actually dive into these ads and then you can analyze the comments from people so to get to where the comments are what you want to do is you notice under every single post within your newsfeed you'll have this date here all you have to do is right click the date and select open link in new tab and what that will do is open up that particular post in a completely separate page so you can actually see all the comments separately and then in here you can actually go through and read the comments and get an idea of what people are wanting. And this is huge, especially in Teespring, because you'd want to do that. You want to go through and look at ones that have a lot of comments. Like look at this particular shirt here, you know, 855 comments. I can tell you right now that if you read through all those comments, you'll probably come up with about 50, maybe not 50, maybe 10 to 20 different shirt ideas that are related to this kind of concept. And you know what? Let's try it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this particular one here. And let's see if we can actually come up with a shirt idea right now, right off the right off the bat. Some replies here. Well, you know what? Look at that right there. Within seconds, I just came up with an idea. You see someone here um, laughing about the actual shirt. You know, if you look at the shirt, it says, you know, the secret to a happy marriage is watching Dallas football together on Sundays. So obviously this person is targeting married people that like the Dallas football um, uh, Cowboys team. So if you come here and take a look at this, the secret to a happy husband is the Dallas Cowboys winning. That could be a shirt, right? That's an idea. Within seconds, we figured that out. 
And it was all done by using this social social sleuth software. Sorry, it's hard to say. <laughs> but anyhow, I, I definitely highly recommend grabbing this little tool. I've been having a lot of fun with it the last couple of days. And this can definitely help you pinpoint what's already working out there. And then you can just model what other people are doing. And you have to spend so you don't have to spend so much time doing all your testing. So this is a a really awesome tool that helps you really pinpoint top performing ads on Facebook. I absolutely love it. Now, I guess one of the biggest questions you probably have, which I also had before I installed this software into my uh, web browser, is Facebook going to penalize me in some way by using this tool? In other words, is it against their terms of service? And it is not. Not at all, because it actually uses the built-in Facebook search engine. That's all it really does. So technically, if Facebook doesn't have a search engine, then maybe this wouldn't be sort of legal to use. But obviously, Facebook is never going to remove their built-in search engine from their platform because it's part of their platform. So therefore, this doesn't really violate anything. So I have to explain kind of how it works to, to show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and just do another uh, quick example here. Uh, the Teespring as well, I'll just put the nurse again. So you can go ahead and search live posts. Now what it's doing, it's basically plugging in a special link up here. And this link here is all the software is doing. It, it, it knows all the different search queries that you can put right into the URL and instead of you know having some sort of degree in engineering <laughs> to go and figure out what all these little things mean which is you know if you're not a programmer that this kind of stuff is difficult to figure out on your own but in reality all it's really doing is just using this search engine right here so that's sort of what it's doing it's so the tool is just sort of um, I guess I'd want to say a wrapper in terms of program that's what it kind of would be called a wrapper for the search engine that's already built into the system so you'll get no you'll get no trouble I'm um, using the software because it's all it's doing it's just using the built-in search engine so you know if you think about it that way are you gonna get banned from your Facebook account from using the search bar well of course not that's all it's doing so you don't have to worry about any um, violation of terms of services or anything like that your account will not get shut down you will not get in trouble at all if you decide to go ahead and purchase the software you'll actually be presented with a, a one-time offer on the back end or an upsell and uh, from what I've seen you, you don't you don't actually need it to have success with using the social sleuth software but it is pretty cool there's some really neat stuff here and I do want to show you my honest opinion about this product I'm probably gonna get in trouble from the product owner Sean he's probably gonna come at me and say why are you saying this stuff but you know what I want to be honest straightforward so you guys get what you need and not what I'm telling you you need <laughs> sort of thing so I just want to be straightforward and honest on this and from what I can see it's worth ninety seven dollars and in my honest opinion it's probably not worth that much money so let me just dig into it a little bit before you get here and um, have these questions you know should I buy it or not the front end is totally worth it you know it's I think it's currently at thirty seven dollars at the time of recording this video and it's definitely worth thirty seven bucks to have that power in your hand but is this worth ninety seven dollars and what it is it's basically um, you get some advanced video training so let me just take you into the members area here hopefully I don't get in trouble <laughs> um, you get your entry level training when you buy the front end so you get that stuff and then you this is the elite training so you get some advanced insights um, so stuff about uh, t um, what t-shirt buyers do some more sleuthing techniques using Teespring Google and Alexa now that stuff is good this is all good you get uh, download PDFs and you also get the videos with them that's pretty cool now you also get access to an inner circle group which I guess they uh, work with one on one so that's probably worth it as well and then you get access to another software product called uh, Niche Navigator. And so for 97 bucks for all that stuff, it just seems a little bit pricey for me. Now there is a, um, a downsell. The downsell I believe is 67 and you do not get access to the Niche Navigator and the uh, Inner Circle. But you do get access to the videos. Now that's that's worth it in my opinion you know these videos are probably pretty good for that amount but let me just show you this social um, sleuth uh, niche navigator uh, this is the niche navigator tool here 
And if you go in here, you can see you could search by uh, YouTube, news, Twitter, and Instagram. So let's just try it here. Um, let's type in, oh, let's just type in nurse, I guess, to continue what we were doing. And so let's see what it does. I haven't played with it that much. I've only, I've only tried a few things in here. And from what I could see, it gives you a nice list of all the posts, the likes and shares. And then you can select a certain post to um, share it in one of your networks. So that's kind of cool. So if you want to reuse some of this content within your pages, so that's where it comes in handy. Let's take a look at like, uh, on, let's try Twitter. So same idea. Now, after I looked around the internet, I was like, well, maybe there's something like this online that's free, right? So I actually found this site here, Social Dash Searcher. And if you go in here and just type in nurse, type search here, you'll see in this tool, it brings up uh, a feed in Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and it looks like the web doesn't come up. You might have to pay for that, I guess, but you get a whole bunch of cool stuff here that doesn't look that different and you can actually share this stuff on your Facebook or wherever you want. Oh, what's this button do? Well, it takes you directly to the Facebook page. And you also have some neat search things here like exact keywords or minus keywords, stuff you do not want to, stuff you want to exclude from the results. So, you know, you could probably just use this tool and probably would replace this. I'm not sure. Like, this does have more, like news and Instagram. Let's take a look at Instagram here. Just make sure. I didn't try this one yet. Oh, that's kind of cool. It shows some t-shirt stuff in here. Anyhow, in my opinion, maybe not worth the $97. You know, you, you could use the social searcher uh, .com site instead and possibly get the downsell. But like I said, I want to be honest. Honesty is, is better than uh, you know forcing you to, to buy something that you probably do not need. If you're a seasoned a Facebook marketer, you probably don't need it. But if not, you may need the extra tools to help you along. But that's my opinion. I highly recommend grabbing the front end. And that's my opinion on the one-time offer. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video.